Welcome to episode 3 of Data Science in AI Weekly. My name is Manvin, people call me Manav. I'm the Chief Data Science Mentor at INSET. And uh, in episode 3, just like the first two episodes of Data Science in AI Weekly, we have an amazing topic that you would be very interested in. So what we covered in the first two topics is getting started in the field of data science. If you have not listened to those episodes, you should do that right away. In today's episode, we are going to cover a day in the life of a data scientist. Right? And why this is an interesting topic is that as you look forward to building a career in data science and look, and as you look to become a data scientist, you would want to know what do, what will you be doing on a day-to-day -day basis? And let's get started with this episode. So let's start a day in the life of a data scientist with you walking into, you are a data scientist now and you join work at say 9.30. You report to work at 9.30, you start your day from 9 30 to 11 o'clock first of all you review your work uh, you have team meetings essentially in which you are discussing about the current data science project uh, that you that your team is working on and again here you might be working as a individual data scientist uh, if you're working as a in a startup and in that case the stakeholder might be the ceo of the startup for example or you might be working and as a data scientist in a established multinational company in which you will be having meeting with a head of your data science practice. So you'll be spending the first one, one and a half hour in meeting and discussing about the latest data science project. You'll be reviewing in the meetings, the objectives, the KPIs of the project, where, what kind of progress you have made. After that, from 11 o'clock to one o'clock or two o'clock, you'll be spending a good amount of time mostly in taking the project for forward now all different projects in data science since it's not one thing that you are doing it's it's a multitude of things uh, that you are doing right from uh, data cleaning to machine learning to uh, visualizing data uh, so you could be at different stages of the project life cycle and let's say that if right now i am building machine learning model i will be building machine learning model till lunch after that, I, uh, you as a data scientist, you have your lunch and then you're back to work. In the second half, you might be doing some bit of uh, research because when you talk about something like machine learning, all the answers you might not already know. So you might be wanting to experiment a more with the models that you are selecting. So you will read up a few articles on machine learning on the internet relevant to the problem that you are, are tackling and you might also be uh, researching about that industry problem that you are working on a little more in depth uh, so that you have beyond the stakeholder that you are working with and beyond the stakeholders perspective and your own perspective you might want to get some neutral perspectives as well after that you continue working uh, on the project in the second half or you might have other uh, discussions uh, regarding an upcoming data science project that uh, that that the company might be working on so as a data scientist there are two things that you would be doing that you would be doing you would be working on the current data science project plus you might be additionally discussing some other data science project that might be uh, taking shape and in data science, a lot of times you don't exactly get the problem in a very defined manner. So different stakeholders will come to you with different problems. A lot of times you will be meeting with them and you will be defining whether it is something that you can add value to. So this is what essentially the day looks like. Some part of uh, the day you'd be uh, coding, some part of the day you'll be building mathematical models, some part of the day you'd be interacting with stakeholders, and some part of the day you'll be spending in reporting to the client, to your boss, etc. Right? So that's how a day in the life of a data scientist is. This also, uh, to a lot of extent, also depends on the, the designation that you are at. For example, if you are the chief data scientist or if you are a head of data science, then your day would look a little different than what I've just described. But largely for data science as a role, this is what your day would like. Now, what are the good parts about a day like this the good part is that you get to work on multiple things you are programming a bit you are interacting with various stakeholders you are learning about maths 
and you are also wanting to research on the industry topics plus on some other days you since data science is as you know is what everybody wants to know more about you'd be asked to give trainings your in your companies you might be asked to represent your company in industry forums as well right so that would happen like once a month in once in two months etc and that's that's what you also need to be good at right so this was what the life in the day in the life of a data scientist is i hope you love this episode my objective through these episodes is to help you get started in this field and to help you understand this field in a deeper manner manner if you loved episode 3 uh just leave in leave your comment let us know more about the kind of episode that you would want to listen to this was episode 3 i'm signing off from this episode my name is manav and i look forward to seeing you in another episode of data science and ai weekly thank you very much for 